Good morning, everyone. Uh, 大家早上好。We have just a couple announcements before we begin the program. 啊，毕业典礼开始之前，我们有一些通知。We want to let you know that there are bathrooms outside and around the side, the corner of the building. The men's is on this side, the ladies is on this side. 啊，在教堂的两侧有男女洗手间。We do have translation available through an earphone. 啊，我们能够用耳机给大家提供翻译。So if you are interested in Putonghua translation for the service, because the service will be entirely in English. Ah, 如果大家需要普通话翻译的话，可以等一下来找我。啊，这个毕业典礼都会用英文进行。So if if you would like that, just raise your hands. I'll have someone from the back bring you the translation device. Anyone? 啊，需要的话可以举手。我们后面有老师会给你翻译的机器。One over here. Thank you, Rachel. Anyone else? Okay. Okay. Good. Um, all right. And then finally, I want to talk about pictures so that you know what to to plan for. Ah, now I want to talk about the plan for photography. We want you to relax and to enjoy the celebration of these students' accomplishments. Ah, I hope you can relax and to enjoy the celebration of these students' accomplishments. To better allow you to do that, we have. Several different photographers from the school that are taking very professional pictures. Ah, so we have several different photographers from the school that are taking very professional pictures. No problem for you to take your own pictures as well, but those will be available to you, and we will email the portrait pictures to you. Uh, as a parent, you'll receive that. Ah, 当然您可以自己拍照啊。我们学校拍的照呢，之后会上传到社交网站啊。毕业生拿毕业证书的照片，下周也会发到家长的邮箱。The aisles, especially down front, can get kind of crowded and busy, so we want to encourage you to stay out of the aisles if you can. Ah, 请大家不要站到走道中间。Okay. Again, if anyone does, anyone need translation device that doesn't have one yet? Ah, 有需要翻译设备的吗？可以举一下手。Okay, so one here. Thank you, Rachel. Translation. Anyone else? Want to make sure you understand everything? 嗯，还有需要的可以举一下手。Okay, very good. Thank you for coming. Thank you for all that's a that you have done to make our school a really good place for students to learn. 谢谢大家前来啊，也谢谢大家支持啊，我们的学校。
My name is Tom Decker. I'm the principal at Hong Kong Adventist Academy. We are very happy that you're here. Uh, and we're very, very proud of you graduates. Uh, it's, it's a beautiful thing to see you coming down the aisle and to see you sitting there. Let's bow our heads for prayer, okay? Gracious Lord, we are so thankful for your guidance in these young people's lives over these last years. As they celebrate what they have accomplished during those years and as they anticipate how you will lead them in the future. We pray, Lord, that you will be present with us in this service. We thank you for their parents. We thank you for their teachers, for the amazing people that they are, and for all that they have done to help these young people accomplish what they have accomplished. Be present with us this day, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Today's scripture reading will be on 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 12. Don't let anyone look down on you because you are young, but set an example for the believers in speech, in conduct, in love, in faith, and in purity. Good morning and welcome. On behalf of Hong Kong Adventist Academy, um, middle school, grade eight, faculty and administration, it's my privilege to welcome each one of you to the 2021 Middle School Grade 8 Commencement. It's a privilege to be part of this ceremony to celebrate what these students have accomplished. We are very proud of them. As we begin, we dedicate their journey to God so that he may bless their path and he may be with them as they continue to grow in him. And whatever they achieve, and they may do so for his honor and glory. Thank you all for coming. As we celebrate, we, we ask you to please uh, be silent and, uh, and witness the program that is prepared for you. Thank you. Um, welcome everyone to our grade 8 graduation. I would like to thank all of you for coming. Thank you to all the parents, teachers, or siblings coming to support us. Middle school was a long journey and I'm proud of all of us for surviving and overcoming all the challenges. This was a tough and unusual year as the COVID is still here and I'm glad that we all made it. Thank you again for coming and congratulations to all the graduates, including me.
Would the parents of Jackie Lam please stand? Dear mom and dad, at this point in my life, I'm considered to be a teenager. And yes, I sometimes still act like a child, but no one knows me better than you two. I cannot express how much I appreciate you with my words. Thank you for supporting me in any ways. Thank you for the kind and warm welcome you, you two have presented to me. You have given me so much, not just in food and money, but also given me a safe place to live in and a good environment to learn in. Thank you, Dad, for driving me to every competition I went to. And thank you, Mom, for the moral support. I wouldn't be as successful as I am without you guys. Once again, thank you so much. Yours sincerely, Jackie, best son. Would the parents of Amog Paltonwell please stand? Hi, Mom and Dad. I am very thankful for all the things you have done for me. Mom, thank you for helping me with my schoolwork when I struggle, especially in math. Thank you for waking me on time so it won't be very late for school. I know that sometimes I'm still late for school, but that is mainly because the 103M line is really long. Thank you for also pushing me to turn in homework on time. I know sometimes, despite your efforts, I don't turn in some of my homework on time, but I, I've got to give you credit for trying to make me do it on time. Thank you for helping me sometimes with difficult to understand concepts in math. Thank, also, thank you for inspiring me to write good stories. Because of you, I was able to win the award last year. It is because of you, my parents, that I am able to graduate. Your son, Amog. May the parents of Sebastian Wecker please stand. I'd like to thank my parents for dealing with all my nonsense for all these years. I have done more stupid things in my life than I can remember. Even though I don't want to be here right now, I would like to thank you for always being there to give me a non-judgmental lecture when I do things I regret. Again, thanks for th everything and I love you a lot. Would the parents of Andrew Chan please stand? Um, I would like to thank the two people who have been with me my entire life, who have cared for me even when I didn't deserve the love. I'm talking about my parents, of course. I will not always show it, but just know that I will always have you in my heart. I would also like to show my gratefulness for my helper, who has been with me for many years, who took care of me and watched me grow. My grandparents have also cared for me, and I'm very grateful. I cannot thank all of you enough for what you have done for me. Thank you for being there for me, and thank you for loving me. Your son, Andrew. Would the parents of Crystal Sen please stand? Hello and hey. First of all, I'm grateful that you guys poofed me out of this world and paid for all my expensive expenses and education all my life. And I'm very thankful that I am lucky enough to be born in a healthy, blessed, and happy family. I honestly can't believe I'm going to high school next year. I can't think of anything to say, but I just want to let you guys know that I love you guys very much from the moon and back, your daughter, Crystal. Would the parents of Dodo die please stand? Dear mom, I appreciate you so much for working hard for me every day and for being a not very strict mom and letting me hang out with my friends and to spend time watching movies together. Thanks for also allowing me to study in a good school and to meet so many wonderful people that have helped me in life. I will also continue to smile more and to improve in all areas, to give it my best, you, thought, you taught me so much and gave me my own independence and allowed me to find my passion instead of always letting me depend on you. I will continue to make you proud. And so thank you for giving me a pleasant beginning in life. I love you and thank you.
Would the parents of Grace Song please stand? 존경하고 사랑하는 아빠, 먼저 감사합니다. 이 세상에 태어나면서 저의 아빠가 되어 주셔서 행복합니다. 그리고 배우게 해 주시고 훌륭한 선생님 만나게 해 주시고 좋은 친구 알게 해 주셔서 고맙습니다. 무엇보다도 부모님의 은혜를 평생 기억하며 살겠다는 다짐을 해 봅니다. 아울러 부모님의 자랑스러운 자식이 되겠습니다. Hi mom, thank you for accepting me even though I have caused a lot of trouble. I am very happy to be with you. Thank you for raising me up until now, and I'm already a high school student. I will try my best to be failure in the future. Mom and Dad, I'm really <coughs> happy to have both of you. I hope I could repay you twice as much for all the good things you have done for me. Thank you and love you. Would the parents of Lucy so please stand? Dear Mom and Dad, thank you for always supporting me in many ways. Although you guys always nagged me to study, that actually helped me through the year. Even though there were many difficulties, thank you for always helping me and encouraging me. Thank you for always working hard to provide me with good food, clothes, and education. Thank you for always providing me with good supplies for school and to allow me to have a good study environment. Thank you for letting me grow up in a nice environment and to grow well in Christ. I'm so grateful how you taught me many things and helped me to make wise choices in life. Thank you for teaching me to never give up and to do my best in all areas. You guys always make me smile and let me feel so loved and blessed. I will always do my best to be a good child and study well. I will always continue to be a proud child and to try my best in everything. Please continue to be a wonderful parent and always lead me to righteous ways. I love you, and I hope we become a wonderful family in Christ. Uh, would the parents of Andrew and Tunku Chu please stand? Dear Dad and Ma, thank you for being there for, for me throughout the years. Thank you for supporting me with my studies and telling me to never give up. Thank you for also sending me into the school for my public school, because it was terrible there. Dad, thank you for helping me with my studies. And Audrey, thank you for being there for me too, even though you can be very annoying. Try to stop being annoying, please. But also study hard for the next two years. I want to see you graduate too. And lastly, I want to say thank you for loving me unconditionally. Would the parents of Julian Choi please stand? Dearest mom and dad, I wanted to thank my mom and dad for teaching what I need to know in order to get into high school. I thank my mom and dad for all the teachings you have taught me in the past. I couldn't have gained all the knowledge and everything that I have succeeded in without your help and you are constantly telling me to keep going to the end. I'm grateful that you gave me a chance to be in this school, and I hope in the future I will be the person you want me to be. From your son, Julian. Thank you to Emily's parents. Dear parents, thank you for always taking care of me and taking care of me and taking care of me. 谢谢你们一直以来对我的所有付出，让我有更好的学习环境和更好的老师。我以后一定会好好努力回报你们的。上了高中后，我一定会更加的努力学习、练琴和更加的让你们省心、更加努力、更加认真的我。我相信我会做到我最好的样子。你们为我做的每一件事，我都看在眼里，不管是每周。无风无雨的带我去上小提琴课，还是又是每天精心的对我给我做的一桌美味的饭菜，我都诚心的感谢你们，因为你们为我付出的太多太多。你们常说我是你们的骄傲，现在我也想告诉你们，你们是在我心中世界上这世界上最大最伟大的父母，你们是我的榜样，日后我也要成为你们的样子。
这你们这样的父母是我最好的礼物，以后我一定会报答你们的，我一定不会忘记你们对我所有的付出和爱，谢谢你们。父母亲戚，亲爱的父母，感谢你们在这么久以来的照顾，不但在生活中教导我各种各样的事情还有道理，而且在这十三年中有各种各样的事情发生，但也没有难倒你们。在我童年中，你们都会让我大胆的去玩，让我知道了很多事物。虽然我不像其他孩子一样聪明，不像姐姐要努力。但是你们要一直支持在我身后，我相信你在我的生活里，你们慢慢的成为了我自信的来源，给我非常多的希望。谢谢你们，我爱你。亲爱的父母，回顾这十三年，感谢你们对我十三如一日。十年如一日的照顾，供养我，一直都支持我的兴趣爱好。每一次我要我要报兴趣班的时候，你们都会支持。每每当我想要得到什么礼物的时候，都会基。基本上满足我，感谢你们把我养育成人。大家都说父母是孩子的第一任老师，你们教了我很多很多，给我树立了正确的价值观。尽管我会惹你们生气，但是你们还是照样的照顾我。你们还要还很尊重我，给足了我很多私人空间，让我可以做自己想做的事。你们还会一直陪伴在我的我身边，每当我将要放弃时，你们都会鼓励我、支持我，使我有坚持下去的勇气。在这个家。家让我尝尽了苦、酸、辣、甜、苦，体会到了喜怒、乐、哀、畏、畏、惧、全。父爱如母山，山母爱如海，滴水之恩当涌泉相报。是你们在我最困难、最艰苦的时候帮助了我，借予我金钱和精神上的支持，使我度过无数难关。在此向你们深深的表表示感谢，我将此永。永远铭记于心。Would the parents of Joan Wong please stand? Dear Dad, thank you for all the years that you have cared for me, and teaching me new things every day, and how you work hard and care for me at the same time. Stay healthy and stay strong. Love, Joan Wong. 親愛嘅媽媽，多謝你十三嚟年、十三年嚟嘅照顧，仲有每一次煮嘅好豐富嘅餐點，我真係非常之佩服你。多謝你嘅關心，希望你可以繼續健健康康。我超級感謝你對我嘅關心與陪在，多謝你做我嘅聆聽者，喺我唔開心嗰陣時同我傾偈，多謝曬幫我揾一個咁好嘅老師，幫我成長。你為咗我哋付出咁多，有時我都會感到自卑。
，我会好好努力，好好练琴。我爱你，爸爸多谢多谢你，我每日每夜勤努努力翻工。多谢你俾我最好嘅资源，我知道有些有啲资源系一定。要做得最好，我會好好努力變成一個更加好嘅人。我會好好努力，俾自己成為一個更加出色同令你哋驕傲嘅女兒。我愛你。嗯、Tiffany 卡獎請起啦，爹哋媽咪，多謝你哋出席我嘅畢業典禮。我真係好感恩你哋可以帶我嚟呢個世界。喺咁多年嚟，我同阿妹日日激嬲你，日日煩住你，搞到你哋好唔開心，為咗我而煩惱。我真係好對唔住。其實每一次我同你哋鬧交嗰陣時，我都有去改。有你哋喺度，我已經好滿足，同埋覺得好幸運。你哋陪我經歷咗咁多場風風雨雨，除咗我同妹妹成長咗好多，你哋嘅心靈都後生咗好多，真係不可思議。我有好多嘢都冇同你講，但我都希望你哋嗰陣時可以同我食嘢或者行街，同我傾偈。同埋能夠支持我，令我哋互相明白對方嘅感受同感情。希望你哋嘅感情同我哋嘅感情可以更好。愛你哋啊！親愛嘅爹哋媽咪，我就嚟十五歲啦，唔經唔覺我畢業啦。多謝你哋細心咁呵護我呢十四年，我愛你哋，係你哋將我帶到呢個世界，係你哋教識咗我行路，教識咗我講嘢，係你哋俾我好味嘅嘢食，係你哋一直為我嘥錢，一直咁呵護我。但係我有地好多地方表現得唔好，對唔住，有陣時候我唔聽話，成日激到你哋好嬲。有幾多個日日夜夜，你哋都喺度一直咁關心我，係你哋用鼓勵同埋自信嘅話語去教我。從我開始懂事，你哋就將我捧喺手心，但係又唔捨得將佢綁得太緊。係你哋從我懂事起，就話俾我知，無論發生咩事都要開開心心度度過每一日，唔好因為一啲小事而影響心情。爹哋媽咪，我大個咗，我一定會照顧你哋，報答你哋，就好似烏鴉大個咗會照顧父母咁樣。我會陪你哋散步、傾偈、報答你哋嘅教育之恩。托儿家长请起立。逝者如师傅，不舍昼夜。三年嘅幼稚园，六年嘅小学，三年嘅初中，一眨眼已经迎嚟咗人生中第三次毕业啦！爹哋妈咪，多谢你哋一直陪伴我成长，令我有一个美好嘅童年。喺呢个美好嘅童年入面，你哋俾我明白同埋学识咗好多唔同嘅嘢。即使我有几曳，你哋都一直耐心咁教导我。多謝你哋令我喺童年入面接觸到咁多唔同嘅事物，令我有一個精彩嘅童年。十一歲嗰陣時，你哋帶咗我同細佬去馬來西亞學潛水，攞咗個潛水牌之後，你哋就不停咁帶我同細佬去唔同嘅地方潛水，見識世界，帶我哋去睇下呢一個海洋究竟有幾靚。我同時亦都好多謝你哋生咗個咁好嘅細佬俾我。令佢可以陪伴我，令我唔會有一個孤獨嘅童年，同時喺生活中有更多嘅樂趣。爹哋媽咪，我真係好慶幸能夠做你哋個女，俾你哋無限咁樣寵。多謝你哋，我愛你。誒、yes. ，致 Henry 的父母，親愛的爸爸媽媽，感謝你們的陪伴，你們在我的生命裏哭過。笑過、玩過、吵過、相聚過，給我留下一段彌足珍惜的回憶。你們慈愛的臉孔、親切的笑容，每一件至親至重的事情，無時無刻不在我的腦海中上演。從細到大，我都不是一個乖孩子，經常給家裏添麻煩。我有時不禁問自己：你們為我這樣付出值得嗎？我知道你們一定。會毫不猶豫地
從嘴裏飛出兩個字，值得我摯愛的爸爸媽媽，你們給予我太多太多，希望在此誠懇地向你們道一聲謝謝。親愛的媽咪，多謝你哋一年嚟對我嘅包容。我知道我脾氣唔好，容易發脾氣，但係我而家已經開始嘗試控制自己嘅脾氣。經歷咗咁多事，我諗已經長大咗，我都開始唔會將自己困喺屋企入邊。我會嘗試去接觸社會，又去多門經取在感。我諗我要開始改變自己，不會再俾你擔心。自我有情的爸爸媽媽，親愛的爸爸媽媽，我想感謝你哋，感謝你哋養育咗我十四年，感謝你哋咁多年嚟嘅教導同埋多不勝數嘅關愛，感謝你哋一直以嚟嘅陪伴同埋無私嘅奉獻。呢段時間一直都好懶惰，唔願去做你叫我做嘅嘢，有時候都會對你發脾氣，見到你很難過，我哋我都很自責。最後，我衷心感謝你哋一直以嚟嘅陪伴同埋對我嘅愛。雖然我而家報答唔到你哋啲乜嘢，但係我會證明改變自己。我有情敬山。誒、呃，梁博雲嘅阿父母，如你們所見，今天我畢業了。感謝你們十四年的教育之恩，感謝你們那麼多年無微不至的關懷照顧，感謝你們輔導我的作業，輔導了這麼久，謝謝你們無私的奉獻。我知道有時候我的態度會比較差，但你們給我寬容，懂得我的小情緒，給了我適當的空間。謝謝你們給予我來到這個世界的機會，讓我能感受到幸福的滋味。感謝你們如汪洋大海般的關懷，感謝你們不計其數的愛。滴水之恩當湧泉相報，兩博文敬謝。請 Marcus Chang 嘅嘅家長起立，俾下爸媽，多謝你哋嚟畢業典禮。Colin 嘅爸爸媽媽請起立，多謝你哋咁多年嚟嘅養育之恩，教識咗我好多道理。雖然你哋平時成日都叫我做嘢，我都有啲嬲，但係好快就平息咗。呢封信係用嚟寫嚟多謝你哋。平時我問你哋嘅問題，你都一一解答，令我學識咗好多書本學唔到嘅嘢，真係多謝你哋。親愛的爸爸媽媽，時光飛逝，轉眼間我即將踏入高中，謝謝你們對我十四年來無私的照顧。言語實在無法表達我對你哋的感恩之心，但我依然要感謝你們一直支持我、鼓勵我，感謝你們的耐心教導。爸爸媽媽，你們俾我的愛是最無私的，你們俾我的愛我都會記在心中。我要腳踏實地，好好學習，光明磊落地做一個出色的人，以報答你們對我的養育之恩。最後祝爸爸媽媽身體健康，葉子良敬上。
Good morning, graduates. Over the years, I have attended many different graduation services, either as an audience member, a graduate, or a member on the stage. There are some moments that I remember very clearly. At my college graduation, one of my fellow students came up front to do the welcome. She said, welcome, and sat right back down. The shortest welcome I've ever heard. Another time, this was not my graduation. This was at a graduation of my friends. I'm sitting in the audience. And the commencement speaker was speaking up front. And a parent came up on the stage, grabbed the microphone from him, and said that he shouldn't be speaking up front. But one thing that usually I do not remember I never remember the commencement speech. If you ask me, what was the speaker talking about at my college graduation? I don't remember. What was the speaker speaking about four years ago, my first year here at this school? I don't remember what the speaker was speaking. I'm too busy focused on the graduates. Most people don't remember it. But there was one commencement speech that I've remembered. It was my grade eight commencement speech. My grade eight teacher gave the commencement speech that year. He gave the commencement speech every year for 40 years. And for his commencement speech, he always wrote a letter, two or three pages for each student and read it up front. He retired about five years ago after 40 years of teaching. And when he announced it, there were so many messages given to him about people who had graduated 20 years before I went to his classroom, 20 years after, telling him how much the letter that he wrote to them meant so much to them and that they still had their letters. Miss Annie and myself have written letters for each and every one of you. Unfortunately, due to the size of the class and the time constraints, I do not have time to read each and every letter out front here. But I would like to spend a couple minutes or a couple sentences, not a couple minutes, a couple sentences for each and every one of you. Crystal, you are my favorite student. We do not have all right, sorry. Your artistic talent has really shined forward this year with all the work that you did for this storybook. Marcus. Hey, guys, please wait till the end. Marcus, you are my favorite student. I never realized that a grade six student could beat anybody in high school at a single sporting event until I saw you on the tug of war field three years ago. Felicia. You are my favorite student. You have great musical talent. And Felicia, good luck on your performance tomorrow. Andrew, you are my favorite student. Thank you so much for the hard work that you've put in and being the publisher for this year's storybook. Amy, you are my favorite student. I notice you're laughing right now. And I have on here, I am so bummed out that you ever, never actually made it to any of my classes, though. <laughs> Angelina, you are my favorite student. You have a natural inclination for art. Please continue to try to nurture this. Chloe, you are my favorite student. I remember in grade six and the first part of grade seven, you kept insisting you would never, ever come to my English class. But then when you came up, you did just fine. <laughs> Julian, you are my favorite student. You have a really great um, interest in history, and I hope that this will be helpful to you in the future. Dal Dal, you are my favorite student. What are you, what are you shaking your head for? Yes, you are. Okay. Every class needs 
a boy band fangirl, and you have done your best at filling this official class position. Jovi, you are my favorite student, although I'm still baffled at how we, during grade six, when we were at outdoor school, you were able to perch yourself on my shoulder and stay just balanced as I'm walking around the campsite. I, I, I don't know how you're able to do that, but okay. Clarence, you are my favorite student. You are so quiet in class that it can be difficult to remember that you are there, but I know you pay attention in your classes because you get good grades in everything. Alan, you are my favorite student, and I completely agree with your argumentative essay, basketball is the best sport. Jackie, you are my favorite student. You have shown an amazing improvement in your attitude towards learning this year, and I wish that you continue to diligently do your best in high school. Rupert, you are my favorite student. Thank you so much for taking care of my plants this year without me ever asking you to do that. You probably saved a lot of them from dying on me. Emily, you are my favorite student. I hope that you are able to continue to refine your musical abilities and be able to get a career in that field like you hope to. Tiffany, you are my favorite student. However, you need to be a fan of one band and stay a fan of one group and not be switching and being a bandwagon fan all the time. <laughs> Henley, you are my favorite student. You have only been here for a couple months, but as you acclimate to this new school, I hope that you are able to excel in everything that you do in your studies. Colin, you are my favorite student. Thank you so much for your help in typing up that paper for me in Chinese earlier this week. Amug, you are my favorite student. This year marked the first time that anyone, any one person in my class has gotten a writing award, a reading award, and a speech certificate all in the same year. You are very gifted academically, and I hope you continue to excel in the, your future. Lucy, you are my favorite student. I remember a long time ago in a country far, far away, I was holding a small Korean girl in my hands and handing her over to her father. I don't think I can pick you up like that anymore. Hyun, you are my favorite student. You are beautiful both on the inside and on the outside. Marilyn, you are my favorite student. You are living proof that siblings are not always alike. In fact, your personality is only The exact, okay, here we go. The exact polar opposite of your older sister. Let me move over here so there's no mic squealing or anything. Sebastian, you are my favorite student. You actually remind me a lot of myself when I was your age, being really good at tests, but not bothering much at homework. The reason why I keep on pushing you a lot is so that you do not make this, all the mistakes that I did when I went to high school. Please learn from the mistakes of others. You will never learn long enough or live long enough to learn them all yourself. Joan, you are my favorite student. You have this gift of making friends with all sorts of different people, even if they are completely different than you. Jason, you are my favorite student. You are the best player at hide and seek I have ever met. When Mr. Morgan, my former teacher, retired, 
many of my former classmates, many students of his from before I went to school there, after I went to school there, they mentioned how they had the letters that he had written them. And at home, I have this shoe box that's, or actually two shoe boxes that are filled with letters, notes, cards, memorabilia, memories of people and things that I've done in the past. I would encourage you to cherish your memories, save up anything that can remind you of the good times that you had today, tomorrow, and the rest of your life. Good morning. I would like to welcome everyone to our graduation ceremony. I'd like to thank all parents and teachers for joining us. Also, I would like to congratulate my friends for finally finishing this year. There are so many people to say thanks to, but first, I would like to thank God for always guiding us and helping us finish this school year safely. Next, I would like to thank all parents <coughs> here. Thank you for always helping us out and supporting us in all ways. Thank you for letting us go to this wonderful school where we met wonderful friends. Most importantly, thank you for raising us up and loving us. Dear mom, thank you for being a great mom. I stand as a valedictorian here today because of your strictness. What a Korean tiger mom. I'm so grateful how you taught me alphabets when I first came here and knew nothing about English. Dad, thank you for being my partner in crime for buying things without telling mom. <laughs> Dear Mr. Principal, thank you for always welcoming us in the morning with a huge smile. And I would also like to especially thank you for making our school a great place for us to study in. Mr. Steve, Thank you for always being so nice and helping us, out, helping us out everywhere. Mr. Smith, my homeroom teacher, thank you for always helping me with my English and making the class as fun as possible. Miss Annie, although you don't really teach me, thank you for always greeting, greeting me with a nice smile, and being so kind and humorous. Miss Heffelfinger, Thank you for always using your time to help me with things and making fun laughs for us. Mrs. Lia Hu, thank you for making your tests really easy even though the finals were really confusing. Ms. Linda, thank you for always making the tests so hard so that I could study harder. Mr. Dean, thank you for providing us a huge classroom for Bible class even though it's always so freezing in there. Mr. Brando, I'm always so bad with counting beats, but your clapping homework helped me to be better in orchestra. Mr. Marcello, I just gotta say that PE is always my favorite subject. Mr. Wecker, the micro bits were really fun to code with this year. I can't, I can't wait for digital design next year. Also, Ms. Divya, thank you for letting us know the beautiful colors in our life. Mr. Williams, I hope you reply to my messages more quick next time. <laughs> I would also love to thank all other teachers and the staff members of this school that make this school a wonderful place. This school year was especially very difficult because of COVID. Online classes were very hard for especially subjects like PE and music. We had to be in front of our devices for a long time with only short breaks in between. And it was really <clears throat> hard to focus on class because our phone was always waiting for us to be held by our hands. We always looked so awful in the morning and sometimes I didn't even have time to wash my face for online class because I woke up too late. I'm pretty sure most of my classmates experienced this too. Still, we had a chance to meet at school for half day, and it was really nice to see some of my classmates face to face. Although we didn't get to do much activities together, I think we still made good memories. 
We are a really big class, but I always think that we are one team and one family. I'd like to thank all my friends for always supporting and helping each other. I was so thankful to have a great family like you guys. To classmates who are sadly leaving next year, I wish you all the best and we will miss you so much. To classmates that are coming next year, I can't believe we are already in ninth grade. Some of us we met in first grade or second grade, and it's been a long journey together. I'm so glad that we are, we are able to be together <coughs> again, and the real journey starts now. So I hope we all survive high school together. Finally, we can buy drinks whenever and have free periods. High school might be really hard, but I hope we have a bit of fun together. To our grade eight graduates, once again, congratulations. I hope we have a good time in high school and I hope we can overcome challenges together. Let's never give up and always support each other. I hope we make more wonderful memories next year and let's never forget about our strong friendship. The year is finally over, so let's play hard during the summer and meet again next school year. The class of 2021, grade eight. We are always the best. Thanks everyone. We will now present our diplomas. Eighth graders, please stand. Sen Crystal. Chan Marcus. Chan Felicia. Chan Andrew Chen Amy Chick, Chloe. Choi, Julian. Die, doll doll. Ho, Jovi. Ip, Clarence. <laughs> Jiang, Michael. 
Okay. In absentia. Key, Allen. Lamb, Jackie. Leung, Rupert. Liang, Emily. <laughs> Mark, Tiffany. Henley <laughs> mm, Colin. Amag Paltanwali. <laughs> Seo Lucy. Song, Grace. Chui, <laughs> Marilyn. Tunkir Chu, Angelina. <laughs> Wecker, Sebastian. Wong, Joanne. <laughs> Yin, Jason. Congratulations, graduates.
For most of those students, that's the first time that I've seen their face in a year and a half. I have missed it. I have missed your face. <laughs> and I am so very happy to uh, be able to be here with you and to celebrate your graduation. We wondered if, uh, if we were going to be unable to do this, but I am glad you are here. A lot has changed for you in the last few years, and there will be a lot more changes in the next few years. Um, it's during these years that you truly will develop into the person that you will become. You will be shaped by your friends. You will be shaped by your teachers. You'll be shaped by your parents. During these years when I was young, I learned to gently love. I was learning to be comfortable with the person that God had created me to be. I had experienced life, and I shared life, and I actually started really steering my own life during these next years. You know, this word commencement, which is, which is in the uh, program, the word commencement means to begin. This is really not an ending. This is really more of a beginning. You are starting into the next years of your life, and they are very important years. The friends that I made during the next few years of my life are the friends that I still have today my closest friends still, 45 years later. Some of them I could trust with anything. So I'm going to give you a final charge this year. One thing that I want you to walk away from this year thinking and remembering and hearing from me. You're beginning a new journey. I want to charge you to invest in people. It's my hope that you will care enough about the people in your life that you will honor them with your time, with your energy, with your joy, and even with your tears. Care about people. Invest in people. You will continue to change and grow in the years to come. You will go on new journeys to new places, meeting new people. You will learn a lot of new things. I hope that you will, like me, be loved and that you will love, that you will be cared for and that you will care. And so on this day, I give you this charge. Have friends. Love sincerely. Care about others. Let's bow our heads for prayer. Oh, gracious Lord. The world is a, is a difficult and awkward place sometimes. These next years uh, that these students are about to commence in, are about to begin in, these years are critical. They are so important. Watch over them, Lord. Protect them. Guide them. Give them the direction, the insight, the wisdom, the strength that they need to become who you need them to be. We thank you for your mercy and your love and your grace to us. And we pray that we will live our lives in gratitude for that. And that we will care about others, that we will love sincerely, and that we will have friends. I pray these things for these graduates, and I do it in Jesus' name. Amen.